Alright guys, I'm testing out Winix that looks like Windows and even has everything that feels like Windows like start menu, search, and you can see settings. This could be a Windows killer guys in Linux. That's the first time ever. And you can even see file manager that looks like Windows which is running Dolphin which they integrate a lot of all these things pre-installed and it looks great. It's not a lot of garbage. But you can see everything just feels like Windows, but except the C drive, you know, of course it's still Linux, right? Then it even has, okay, store, like Ubuntu, we all have stores, like the Microsoft store. And then you have notification at the bottom right, which is where it always is in Windows. And a clipboard, audio volume, you get rockers all here, and you have applications just like Windows, that's where you should have it. And then the battery and brightness, everything just where it's supposed to be, like Windows. It's so easy, why change, right? Then you got Bluetooth here, and then you can even mute on the taskbar. Wow, and then you have like, of course, calendar and time. And it even has Copilot at the right, pre-installed. And of course, if you got ChatGPT, you need to check out whether Famous Cyberimus is good. And what the ChatGPT say? Well, I don't know, but... I am Gaming Tips or Linux Tutorials. Well, you should find me for that. Well, <laughs> I am great at Linux Tutorials. I find fixes that is very easy to do without coding, right? And here you see, start menu just like Windows, all apps. And of course, we need to check the system monitor, task manager, which is same. It looks the same like task manager. The left side is all the categories. At the top, you see the name of the parts. At the right side is the details. And you can see the graph of the resource, how much it's using. It is, wow, you know, exactly like Task Manager, which you can see at a glance. You don't need to do anything special, which most Linux can't do. Even here, the apps itself, you could even see the apps. You can even kill it right here just like windows and it feels like home you know like windows coming to Linux, it just feels nothing different everything is just where it's supposed to be and if you scroll down maybe it could be like windows where you can see the apps itself you can delete oh look at that, microsoft edge that service you could just crash it and it just work and the services you can see all the services at the, at the side wow you know no other linux have done it right like this you know, if you want to be like Windows to Linux, no problem. I think this is it. Uh, you see the Power Apps update? Well, it really looks like Windows. You know, you can check for updates. Uh, where does it go? Oh, it went into the store. Well, it is Linux. It goes to the store to update. But at least you know where is it to go to the check for update. And it will show you where to update. This is good. All right. You don't need to have like actual interface for it to update. But wow it feels home you know and it even has windows support look at that you can even install compatible modules automatically this is what we need i just want to get all the windows updated i don't need manual and all those things just put in and let me just plug and play all right so let's see how it works look at that it just I think it goes to download.windowsupdate.com. Is it taking from the Windows server? I'm not sure. Is it taking it directly? But it works. So next video, I might try to do Windows apps test. And look at that. It even has show FPS. I can try this on gaming without Mango Hard. You know how hard to do that? Super hard. And even use software sources, Ubuntu software to update your driver. Look at that. Of course, it is using ubuntu but you know it's not surprising but look at it you know from windows you get ubuntu update drivers it's it's wow you know is this great it has even active directory ui built in look at all you can do as linux this is the first time and even has icons customization for your cursor you can choose even it has window title well you can change it and then you have bar you know you can change the bar at the top and it even has team 
guys it has team look at that you could even install from a store of teams you don't even have to do any googling or anything it just works and it even has auto startup what 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 can it actually just click and play wow you know usually you do install tweaks and then you can do this but they actually integrate in and it just works like that i have tested it by the way and it works see that guys pop os zone os take notes okay look at that game controller even customize it look at that i'm going to show you how to customize it i want to try out windows 11 light and you can see basically it looks the same as windows 11 now and it even has a customization to you know change the the positioning of your icons on the desktop to make it looks exactly like it look at that now it looks like typical windows 11 hmm look at that there's no coding involved you just plug and play just press the ui and now i change to windows 10 look at that i've tested windows 10 and all of the function just works you guys should be ashamed of yourself after how many years look at that windows 10 start menu also the same wow guys wow there are so many linux out there so long development and still couldn't do as much as this without coding anyway it has a refresh desktop even though it does nothing but of course all of this should have their issues and bugs you'll see there's even this issue when you start the boot and it doesn't work you need to change to legacy from uefi from your pen drive then you go in you see this problem and then you need restart and then you see this pop up again and just exit and it just does just works okay so what not to do in linux don't install new linux if you're not a tester or youtuber don't use it for daily use because you have to always wait few years for the bugs to be stable don't change other linux because there are missing features sometimes and you change only when you feel the linux is easier so improvement i would say setup should not have any error to avoid confusion and you need more updates for stability software games windows compatibility continue develop ease of use without coding and you will be the next windows killer and you will win win i tell you so guys please support me by using super chats at the comment section if you want to watch full tutorial of winnings you need to unlock it by purchasing in my youtube channel subscribe and watch more of my videos to support me thank you all for watching very much i very much signing out please like subscribe and comment below is my previous videos to the center is my other videos and to the side of it is my playlist for different topics in different playlists you can check that out for my previous and future videos that is to come so thank you all for watching famous cyber Ramos, signing out